Here in our office, when we see pregnant women, we have these great pillows that we use so that way a mom can comfortably lay on her belly so we're able to check her hips and her low back. So we have this one that's a little bit smaller. Um, this is for the first trimester. This one's for the second trimester. And then we can stack them for the third trimester. So it has a little hole here in the middle to help cradle mom's belly and baby. So Dr. Liz and I, we are certified in what's called the Webster Technique. And Webster Technique is specifically for chiropractors, and it's a gentle technique to help balance the hips and pelvis on a pregnant woman. So here is what the hips and pelvis look like. And so a woman's uterus sits here in, in your pelvic bowl. And so the uterus, it is suspended by ligaments that are attached to the hip bones. So if a woman's hips are unbalanced or if there's any sort of tilting or misalignment in the hips, that can change the shape of the uterus. And why that's important is because that can affect how much room baby has to move around and grow. And so as you can see, we do this very gentle light technique where we're working on not only the structure and the alignment of the hips, but we're working on those muscles and that ligaments that surround the hips and the pelvis. So we typically will start on the back of the hips. We're checking this um, bone right here. This is called the sacrum. We also want to make sure that there's some really good and smooth movement in the hips and the sacrum because also we're helping a woman to prepare her body for birth and for labor. You know, ideally baby is gonna be head down and is gonna fit through the birth canal. And we wanna make sure that the hips and the pelvis are able to move and open properly to allow there to be more space for baby to go through the birth canal. So eventually what we'll have um, our mama do is she'll lay on her back also and we'll check the front of the hips. So the front of the hips, we're checking this pubic bone, making sure the pubic bone is aligned also because sometimes if the hips are off, this is all connected and the front of the hips can be off as well. We will also be checking certain ligaments and muscles, making sure that one side isn't tighter than the other and releasing all that tension throughout the hips and the pelvis.